What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing you another video. For today's video we're going to go over some recent vinyl pickups and this is going to be a soundtrack theme video because all the vinyls that I picked up that we're going to talk about today are soundtracks. Three of them are some of the greatest soundtracks that have ever touched this planet Earth. Another one is from a movie that definitely has some hot takes, you know, people are kind of mediocre on it, but I actually really enjoy some of the music numbers in this film. So today, like I said, you're going to hear my thoughts on these four soundtracks, these new vinyls that I picked up. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let's do this. Roll it. One key thing is I love doing these vinyl videos because they're so much more chill to edit and everything. You don't really have to do that much. But here, let's talk about the most controversial pickup, and that's probably the Joker Folly Ado soundtrack. And for me, I liked this film. I didn't think it was better than the first Joker film, but I gave this film, this is like a 7 out of 10 movie for me. This is the soundtrack, and this is performed by Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga. So let's go over some of the... Uh, Sound, songs that are on here. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Side A, we have Slap That Bass, Get Happy, What the World Needs Now Is Love. Then we have For Once in My Life, In My Friend, If My Friends Could See Me Now, Folly Ado, Bewitched, That's Entertainment, When You're Smiling, To Love Somebody. Then on Side B, they have They Long to Be Close to You, The Joker, Gonna Build a Mountain. This is a good one. I've Got the World on a String. If you go away, I'm gonna build a mountain reprise. That's life, and true love will find you in the end. So yes, some really cool soundtrack music on here, performed by Joaquin Phoenix, Lady Gaga, and Nick Cave. So let's open this bad boy up. Boom, boom. Show off the inside. That's one thing that you gotta say about Joker is that this film looked fantastic. It's it's gorgeous to look at. It really is, and the album is see through red so and we got joker on one side lady gaga on the other right there so oh man yeah this is one that i like said i'm excited to jam i haven't jammed it yet so some of these i've already listened to some of them i haven't this one i haven't jammed yet but yes still a fantastic like i said addition to the vinyl collection here's your inside right here I always forget to show off some piece of the vinyl, so I'm like, I gotta make sure I go through it, you know, take our time, take our time and stuff, so, like I said, I know a lot of people didn't like this movie, but me and my wife were fans of it, and we enjoyed the music, so we picked up the vinyl. So next up, we have easily, in my opinion, one of the greatest soundtracks of all time in the history of this world, and that's the Crow soundtrack, and this is the Brandon Lee Crow film from the 90s, and man, on here... Easily some of the best bands, some of the greatest songs you'll ever hear. Let's go over the songs right here. We have The Cure with Burn. Then we have Machines of Loving Grace, The Galtha Tenement Blues, Stone Temple Pilots with Big Empty. Then we have Nine Inch Nails with Dead Souls, Rage Against the Machine with Darkness, Violent Femmes with Color Me Once, R Rollins Band, Ghost Rider. Then we have Helmet, Milk Toast, Pantera is on here for Love Not Lisa, Slip Side Melting, My Life with the Thrill Kill Cult, After the Flesh, The Jesus and Mary Chain, Snake Driver, Medicine Time Baby 3, and then Jane Sevier, It Can't Rain All the Time. So yes, like I said, easily, easily one of the greatest soundtracks. Like there's, there's not a bad song on this record like at all like legit this is one of those records that i could listen to all the way through and once you put it on it's kind of hard to put it down kind of thing typical black this one's just a typical black record so you know and we do have two uh two albums side we have side a side b and then we have a side c and b and stuff so let's put this bad boy back if we could slide it back in please go back in now let's show off the inside of this bad boy right here boom 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 such a fantastic film and this is like I said probably like one of those cult classic films that like I could understand maybe if you weren't introduced to this movie at a young age you might not be into this film but this soundtrack oh, you can argue the fact that there are some of the greatest bands on this record and like those songs like The Cure specifically that song Burn was written for this movie The Crow like they wrote that song I believe in like two or three days just for that movie. Next up, we have another fantastic film. This is a period piece film. This is Dazed and Confused and probably one of the best period piece films ever. Like this film oozes 70s 
everything about it in terms of what kids were doing, the music, the cars, the vibe, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like, you know, Matthew McConaughey's in here. We have so many good, fantastic, amazing actors in here. Milia Jovovich was in here when she was at a young age. So let's talk about the soundtrack, though, because like I said, this soundtrack is a banger. So let's get on to it. We have Rock and Roll Hoochie Coo with Rick Derringer, Slow Ride by Foghat, Schools Out by Alice Cooper, Jim Dandy, The Black Oak, Arkansas, Tush, ZZ Top, Love Hurts by Nazareth, Stranglehold by Ted Nugent, Cherry Bomb by The Runaways, I absolutely love The Runaways, Fox on the Run by Sweet, that's another great one, Low Rider by War, Tuesday's Gone by Leonard Skinner. That's another great, great song. Highway Star by Deep Purple. Then we have Rock and Roll All Night by Kiss and Paranoid by Black Sabbath. So, yes, another album that, like I said, it oozes the 70s and stuff like that and a lot of 60s bands. But, oh, man, so many great, great songs on here. And I think this one, if I remember correctly, these records are Purple. Yeah. Purple, translucent, like see-through ones, like, ah, oh. kind of like uh, my Cowboy Bebop ones. This is very similar, but the Cowboy Bebop ones, more of a deeper, deeper purple color. But yeah, great, great record. Great uh, movie. Like I said, if you haven't seen this film, this might be, I think it was Richard Linkletter, this might be his best film of all time. He's done some really good period piece films, but I think Dazed and Confused might be his best film of all time. Plus, I'm just a sucker for it, like this stoner comedy, this film. I got introduced to this film at a young age. I was probably like seven or nine when I first watched this movie, and it just it stayed with me ever since that time. Now, last but not least, I saved my favorite out of the movies, my favorite movie out of all the movies we talked about, and this one is the Breakfast Club soundtrack, and another one that I would put on a list if I was to do a top 20 list of best soundtracks, you would probably see Dazed and Confused, the Crow soundtrack, and you would see this bad boy on there because I think this soundtrack is amazing. This one absolutely oozes the 80s, so if you don't like the 80s, which who, who doesn't? If, there, if you don't like the 80s, there's something absolutely fucking wrong with you but i mean this film or this film is amazing and like I said the songs on here absolutely just feel of the time so we have don't you forget about me by simple minds which is probably the most famous song we have waiting with Eliz by elizabeth daly which is one of my favorites fire in the twilight by wang chung then we have i'm the dude instrumental Heart to the Heart Too Hot to Hold by Jesse Johnson and Stephanie Sproul. Then we have on side two, we have the Dream Montage Instrumental, which is one of my favorites. That's that time when they're they're smoking the bud and everything and they're going through having that moment. It's that instrumental's great. We Are Not Alone by Carla DeVito. The Reggae Instrumental, Didn't I Tell You by Joyce Kennedy, and the Love Theme Instrumental, which is such a fantastic record or like song to end this record. And this one this one is cream white, kind of like my Prince record. <laughs> yeah, this one's completely white, cream white, and yeah, this is probably out of all the ones on here. I, the Crow one is really good. That Crow one is really good because I love the bands. The Dazed and Confused one is such a vibe. The Joker one, I still have to jam the Joker one, so I'll let you know kind of more of my vibes on this one, but... Out of the albums I have picked up, the Breakfast Club one, this is probably my favorite. <laughs> and so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like I said, it's really fun going through these soundtrack ones because it's a lot less editing and a lot more fun to talk to these movies. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I drop a video. And please let me know down below, are you a vinyl collector? What are some recent vinyls that you picked up? I would love to discuss. But most importantly, have a safe and happy day. Peace out.